When we think of a Star Trek future, we see a peaceful, badass, unified world where money is no longer used. It stems from the fictional vision of future conceived by creative minds in Hollywood, who have inspired generations of young minds to pursue their careers in science. Inspired by this hopeful message of future, they invented and continue to invent those technological marvels we now take for granted. So who inspires those like Star Trek TV series and Battlestar Galactica animator Doug Drexler? You are watching Indicator and today we will talk about Jack Fresco and his project Venus, which is one such source of inspiration. I'm sure you will find it a fascinating experience. Decades before the Star Trek pilot aired, Jack Fresco began working to plant intellectual seeds of resource-based economy. Uh, this is very familiar for those inspired by the possibility of Star Trek future. Fresco's project originates in Venus, Florida, USA. Venus Project is an organization that proposes a feasible plan of action for social change, one that works towards a peaceful and sustainable global civilization. It outlines a cybernated government because the human mind is far too simple to handle and to put into practical use all of the voluminous information that is required to operate highly advanced and technical world society. Eventually, central cybernetic systems will coordinate all of the machinery and equipment that serve entire cities, nations and ultimately the world. One can think of it as an electronic automatic nervous system which is extending into all the areas of the social complex. Resource-based economy Simply stated, resource-based economy utilizes existing resources rather than money and it provides the most equitable method of distributing those resources in the most efficient manner for the entire population. It is a system where all of the goods and services are available without using money, barter, credits or any other kind of debt or servitude. Because Earth is abundant with plentiful resources and today our practice, modern practice of rationing resources is irrelevant and counterproductive to our survival. There's no money in Star Trek. Everything is designed to clean itself and work indefinitely. To quote Captain Picard from Star Trek First Contact, the economics of the future is somewhat different. You see, money doesn't exist in the 24th century. The acquisition of wealth is no longer the driving force in our lives. We work to better ourselves and the rest of humanity. Also from the Deep Space Nine episode in the cards. Come on, Mac. No, why not? It's my money, Jake. If you want to bid at the auction, use your own money. I'm human. I don't have any money. It's not my fault your species decided to abandon currency-based economics in favor of some philosophy of self-enhancement. Hey, watch it. There's nothing wrong with our philosophy. We work to better ourselves and the rest of humanity. What does that mean exactly? It means... It means we don't need money. We've already equipped to provide for every person on the planet. The scarcity we face is in nearly every case artificial and used to playing with pricing and profit margins. The monetary system places tremendous unnecessary strains on available resources and denies the benefits of mass productions to countless millions of people. In a monetary-based society, profit depends on maintaining the artificial scarcity of goods and services and or conscious withdrawal of efficiency. A money system has existed for centuries and whether we realize it or not, it had always been controlled the behavior of those with limited. A monetary and barter system can function only when the resources are scarce. And on this blessed earth, the resources are not scarce. So, it was all for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. All of these things might have sounded a bit utopic, but still, Star Trek TV show has inspired brilliant minds like Stephen Hawking, so I think it was worth watching. If you liked my video, please like it, share it, feel free to subscribe, and live long.
and prosper.